Praise the Lord. This is your mobile preacher, Brother Steve Camera, coming at you from the byways and the highways. Let it be God's ways and not our ways. Thank you again for joining me in our series of God is Love in 1 Corinthians chapter 13. And we are now on part 9. Hallelujah. Part 9. God is love. And in chapter 13, verse 5, it says that it is not easily angered or it is not provoked. It is not provoked. The Greek word is paroxino. Paroxino. And it means to irritate, to provoke, or to arouse to anger. Uh, or even a deeper meaning is to exasperate or to burn with anger. Love does not burn with anger. It is not easily provoked or aroused to anger. Thank you, Jesus, for giving us that love. And uh, what does that mean for us as children of God? What does that mean uh, of us for be as believers? It means that, uh, yes, we are still long-suffering. Yes, we still, we still, you know, have patience. But even when our patience has reached its limit, even when, man, I can't take this anymore. We've gotten to that point where somebody or some situation has just really built up inside of us a well of frustration and anger. We do not explode in a fit of anger. We do not blurt things out in anger. We do not throw things across the room. We do not stomp our feet and have little baby tantrums. We do not, as loving Christians, do that because that's not God. Jesus never had a little temper tantrum. He, yeah, I know what you're thinking. Many of you are thinking about what happened when he turned the tables over. That wasn't a temper tantrum. That was authority. That's a little bit different now. When Jesus threw up the, 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 the tables of all the different people selling different things and cheating people out of their money, selling doves and selling things for offering, uh, and, and you know making out uh, extra money and, and uh, fooling the people, he got upset. And he said, you're making the house of God a den of thieves. And he turned up the tables. But do you think he did it yelling and screaming and stomping his feet and flailing his arms? Or do you think he did it purposefully and methodically and just undid what they did? Amen. Jesus, even when he's angry, God, even when he's angry, when he corrects us or punishes us, it is not in a temper tantrum. It is in the power and authority of the righteousness of God. And so when we correct our children or talk to our spouses or our, our, our fellow brethren, even when we've reached our limits and they have angered us, we still have to speak in love. We cannot explode. When you explode, you release control of yourself. And the Bible says that we have not been given a spirit of fear but of love, power, sound mind. That's self-control. Okay? We've been given a spirit of self-control. And we have to, when we have that feeling that we're just going to explode, that we remember that we are a child of God and we are not easily provoked. We are not easily brought into that place where we lose control and in anger do all kinds of things that are unholy and unfavorable. To, my, to ourselves, our spiritual life, maybe our physical life, and those that we're angry with, and those that are around us watching. Hallelujah. How much damage we do when we explode in fits of anger, and everybody's watching. You know, it does not, it does not put our reputation in, in a good light, let alone it makes people look at us and say, gosh, there's a man or woman who claims to be a Christian, and look at them losing control. Yeah, that situation was horrible. That person was being nasty, but they returned evil with evil. See, we talked about that before. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not rude. It does not behave unseemingly. It's not selfish, and it is not easily provoked. You can poke me how many times? Peter asked Jesus, how many times are we to forgive? You know, seven times seven? No, oh, Jesus said 70 times seven. 
That's how many times you forgive. And if you have a forgiving spirit, then no matter how many times people poke at you, no matter how many times people pre uh, press your buttons, no matter how many t times people who want to provoke you and they're trying to provoke you, you do not allow them. No, Jesus, who could have been very, very righteous in his action against those who, while he was on his way to the cross, while he was speaking to Pilate, while he was, you know, answering or not answering questions, he could have just destroyed everybody. But many times they accused him and he didn't even answer anything. Sometimes when we feel like that well of anger is rising up inside of us and that provocation, that, that, that pressing of buttons and, and provoking us is getting to a place where we're going to lose control, the best thing we can do is not say or do anything at all so that they may not have an, an accusation against us. They can't accuse you of anything if you don't do it, if you don't say it. So if you, if you get into a place where you know you're going to explode, walk away. Don't say anything. Don't respond. Sometimes the best response is no response when the enemy is trying to poke at you. He's trying to get you to say something or do something that will shame your walk with God in front of the eyes of man. Don't do that. Don't allow the enemy to drag you into that place. Remember, pray it before you say it. Take a moment. And if you can't control the anger that's inside of you and you need more time, don't say anything. Don't allow the devil to drag you in and lose your self-control. Walk away. Come back another time. We must not be easily provoked. And when we've reached that moment, when we can no longer stand how much we've been provoked, we need to walk away and pray before we return to deal with the situation. The Holy Spirit will always, always guide us in truth. And so if we really humbly seek the Lord, for situations he will give us the right words to say and the right actions in this situation love is not easily provoked it is not burning with anger it doesn't exasperate it does not easily irritate or provoke and that means we also don't arouse others or provoke others to anger we control ourselves so that we don't push other people's buttons, so that we don't poke at people and try to condemn them and judge them and throw things in their face over and over again. We have to watch our own behavior that we do not provoke others. We are not easily provoked, and we should not provoke others to wrath and anger. Oh, to take that home today. May the Lord richly bless you. Mobile Preacher out.